Hey guys, it's Dahlia, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the most decadent chocolate ganache tart. I love chocolate ganache so, so much. I started making it probably when I was nine, 10, or 11 because it's one of the simplest things to make. It's two ingredients, it's chocolate and cream. So whether that's coconut cream, heavy cream, or even almond milk will work. So we're doing chocolate ganache in our tart shell and the tart shell is super simple. I'm making it with all natural ingredients. They're very simple ingredients. And then I'm gonna to top the whole tart off with some strawberries just to make it look a little bit extra special because I know many of you guys are looking for ideas for Valentine's Day and this is the perfect idea of a quick, easy, simple, healthy-ish dessert to make for Valentine's Day. So I am very excited to teach it to you guys and now let's get started. Okay guys, I am back. For that brief second I was away, I burnt my finger because I melted some coconut oil that I put in the fridge last night and turns out you shouldn't touch the glass after it's been in the microwave for like two minutes. So anyways, I remelted coconut oil that was room temperature and I only had a microwave it for 20 seconds. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'll have my ice back here the whole time. And now we're gonna start off with making the crust. So I have here some oats. They're rolled oats and I ground them in my Nutribullet. I'm just gonna pour these in. Then we have here some almond meal. So we're gonna mix that in. Then add some maple syrup for sweetness. Some melted coconut oil. Now don't melt refrigerated coconut oil. Make sure you're melting coconut oil that was just sitting on the counter or in your pantry. Don't refrigerate your coconut oil because then when you go to melt it, you could burn yourself on the cup or on the bowl. So just quick tip so you don't burn yourself like I did. So pour that in and then some salt. And now it's time to mix this all up. That's all you have to do for the crust. Like it's so simple. And then you can take your hands and just pinch the dough together. It doesn't have to form one big clump of dough, but it should be clumpy. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll put the dough into the pan. So I have a rectangle tart pan here, greased with some cooking spray. And now it's time to dump all of our dough into it. And it could be in chunks. It does not have to look like a dough. And it's gonna look very funny now. Put almost all of it, just leave a little bit in the bowl. Also make sure that you have a bowl of cold water on the side so that it will prevent your fingers from sticking to the dough. So now it's time to flatten this dough out. So you wanna flatten it and bring it up the sides. And then just dip your hands in the water every minute or two, whenever you feel that the stuff is sticking to you. Then take those extra crumbs and just place them in the areas that you feel need some more dough. Like if it's too short on one side or anything, or if there's a see-through area. Push off the rim of the pie crust so that it has a smooth top crisp edge. And then just flatten the edges with your fingers. It's time to get the crust in the oven. I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 13 to 15 minutes, or just until it's golden brown across the top. And then you just want to transfer it onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely before adding the chocolate ganache filling, which I'm going to show you how to make next. For the chocolate ganache, all we need is chocolate and some coconut cream or any other type of cream, heavy cream or even almond milk. So I bo just boiled it, so I want to hit this very quickly. So you want to pour your boiled cream over some chocolate chips or chopped chocolate. You want to use good quality stuff. Nothing with the emulsifiers and the stabilizers. Get regular good quality three ingredient chocolate chips. Then just let this sit for about two minutes. The ganache looks perfect and it's super thick and that's what we want for the pie because we want to be able to get thick so we can cut into it. But let's say you were making a ganache to pour over a cake, you would want to make it a little bit thinner so you would add more of the coconut cream or whatever cream that you're using so that it's much thinner so it could pour over the cake nicely. So now I'm just going to set this aside until the crust cools off and then we can assemble the tart. Now that the pie crust is cooled off, I'm gonna pour all of my chocolate ganache into it and spread it out with an offset spatula, but you can also use a knife. It doesn't have to look perfect on top because we're gonna be decorating the whole top of the pie with some strawberries. And then just stick it in the fridge for about four to six hours to chill. The tart is completely chilled. You can see it here, the chocolate won't fall out. It's so nice and firm. I just left it in the fridge overnight, covered, um, and now it's time to decorate it. So, I'm just using strawberries, it's very, very simple. You wanna make sure you find the biggest strawberries possible, you don't want them to be small, or else you won't be able to use a cookie cutter on them. 
And then I cut them into little hearts. Not so little, but you cut them really any size heart that you want. Look at this. The tart is all ready and it looks amazing. I love the strawberries on top. They look so cute as hearts. And this pie is perfect for Valentine's Day or really for any other occasion or just because you just want to eat it because it's literally so simple and quick to make. Aside from that, it has to sit in the fridge for a couple hours. The prep is really, really easy. So I hope you guys give this a try. You can get the full recipe on my website, spraininglower.com. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel and you'll get to see new videos every single week. And if you click on the notification bell, you'll actually get notified when I post the new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.